Wagwan YouTube, it is I, I am great again. Welcome back to another video. This is the Journey YouTube channel where we talk about spirituality, self empowerment, self growth, you know, spiritual growth, just the whole human experience, growth through this physical reality that we're experiencing right now because the purpose of life itself is just evolution, you know, to evolve and to be the best version of yourself. So, Today we are talking about spiritual awakening. Um, my two cents on it, you know, like, cause I can only describe what I went through, you know. Each spiritual awakening will be different. It will vary from person to person as we are all unique beings, right? We are unique beings, so each experience is, is going to be unique, right? So, we have to understand that we are spiritual beings experiencing a physical reality, a temporary physical reality. So we're a spiritual being, being having a temporary human experience, a temporary physical experience because everything is actually um, spiritual. Everything has a spiritual counterpart. So plants, animals, buildings, everything is physical as a spiritual side to it because the physical realm is just a reflection of the spiritual realm. So everything that you can physically perceive you can spiritually perceive it too. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, when we came into this, we are spiritual beings experiencing a, a, a temporary human experience, a temporary physical experience. Right? So when we came into this reality through birth, to just a beginning of another level, so you find that there is no death and there is no birth, it's just recycling of energy. So when we came into this reality to just a, a new beginning, it's not. It wasn't our birth, that it wasn't the beginning, beginning of our existence. It is just a continu continuation, a recycling of our existence. You get to my we are spiritual beings. We can't die, we are infinite. So, get it there, so? So my spiritual awakening was like, it started from an early age. I've always been aware, more aware than a lot of people my age. You know, I've always been more aware of a lot of people my age. So I find that my childhood wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really like the average kid growing up in Jamaica. I was more of a reserved person, but more to myself because, you know, a bag of things are going on. A lot of thoughts are running through my mind and race. But my mind, wait. I'll say, I'll say I can pride my mind, but I don't know. It was scary at first. My mind worked. It scare me sometimes. My mind not shut down, you know, stop. It annoying. It, it not a, it's not a, you know, it's not a thing where a lot of people would have prayed. It lead to insanity. A lot of people if you go insane, it's because them have mind is similar to mine. It, it's not easy to deal with. They get to my sense of that forced me into a spiritual awakening. It had to happen. You know, I couldn't escape a spiritual awakening. But just off it have it because I'm just that connected to my spiritual side. I'm, I'm more like I'm more of a spiritual being that this, this existence felt weird to me as like <laughs> whoever understand whoever I've been through a spiritual awakening will understand what I'm talking about. This reality felt weird as fuck with like I'm like shit I'm looking around people now see eye to eye with me they are not seeing what I am seeing they are not seeing this world like I am seeing it so at one time, at one point, I thought I was going crazy. I'm like, shit, am I the one going crazy because everybody is not seeing anything? So, <coughs> probably I'm not a problem. After a while, no. But I tell you, a spiritual awakening will make you feel like you're going crazy. <laughs> it's like you're living, you're, you're living in an insane world and it's hard to try to stay sane in an insane world when you check the levels, you know. Most people run with insane and the sane ones. They are depicted as insane most of the time, you know, and it's sad but the world is evolving and we, we are going into a time where the earth is shifting from a third dimensional um, space to a five dimensional space of consciousness. So humans will start to think more like spiritual beings again, you know, and I say again because it was once like this. If you read the Bible, I'm not a big supporter of the Bible, but there's truth in the Bible. There are a lot of truth in the Bible, right? And the Bible did say, so it was in the beginning, it shall be in the end. And 
that proves to you that there's nothing new under the face of the sun. You know? Everything is just recycled, repeated. It's just repetition. Life is just consciousness manifesting itself over and over, repeating, experiencing different, different levels of itself, consciousness. Repeating and, and experiencing different, different levels of itself. You know, we are pure consciousness. So a spiritual awakening is like, it's not really a spiritual awakening, it's just you realizing your essence, you know, you actually realizing who you really are because as I said, at the core we are spiritual beings <laughs> having a temporary human experience. So a spiritual awakening is just actually realizing that shit, I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. And going through it, you know, you realize you start to see it's like it's crazy, man. May I tell you, your pineal gland open up, your chakras start to be aligned, you start to feel physical symptoms. Now, I do a video about physical ascension symptoms because through a spiritual awakening, it's actually a vibration being raised, you know, being raised to a higher level of consciousness. You get what I say? And if, if your spiritual um, awareness is raising, your physical body will have to start to fucking um, come in alignment, to accommodate a change there. You know, the change that is happening. So, when I was going through my physical, um, spiritual awakening, I find myself have um, a lot of pains and aches, you know, so, because the chakras are opening, are aligning. So, like, I, mean, I could go to work, my back did not kill me. <laughs> my back hurt, I go to doctor. I kept, kept going to doctor, the doctors can't, I did x rays, they can't find anything. It's like, my Kundalini was just raising, and nobody could explain what it happened to me, you know, and doctors them can't find nothing there. Like, oh, you're perfectly good. <laughs> it wasn't good. My back, my back was hurting me for months, months upon months, and I didn't know what was happening. It was just my kundalini trying to align with the spine to get me into a perfect alignment for raise the vibration because I was my vibration was raising and, and is still raising because that's what a spiritual awakening does. It activates your kundalini, which is the life force. You know, it moves up the spine and come and extend through the hair and come back down. So that's that's why I'm always. Um, emphasize the importance of, of, of hair because the hair helps with the kundalini raising and it helps with the spiritual awakening it helps to keep you grounded most times if you see a person going through a spiritual awakening it's hard to not have hair <laughs> you'll go crazy may I tell you, you'll go mad you need the hair as a grounding force your dreadlocks, you know so that's the importance of your dreadlocks I always talk about it I have a couple of videos don't talk about it, you know and that's just my brief explanation of a spiritual awakening. I'm not going to make a video too long, but I do videos almost every day now because this is what I do. Stay tuned, join the YouTube channel. A spiritual awakening is not no scary, man. You know, you're just realizing who you truly are. And that's what we came here to do. We came here to, we came, sorry, we came to experience a physical reality and actually connect back to our spirituality. Who we, we truly are, and that's the trick with life. A lot of beings, they're they're only believing in, in what they can see, so they take life as physical. You know, that's the illusion. Life is not physical. And once you get that, you start to realize it. You know, your mind open up. Your mind get free to a lot of information out there because you can't close your mind. You know, information is infinite. <laughs> the moment you close your mind, I think you know everything else. You stop learning, and if you're not learn, you're not live. If you're not grow, anything that doesn't grow is dead. If you're not growing in life, which is evolving in learning and consciousness, then you're just a dead being, you're a zombie. And a lot of beings around are zombies. This is a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so stay tuned, people. One love to join the YouTube channel.